loving the costumes that I'm seeing. Welcome to Unit 2, Lesson 6. So as usual, uh, oh, here's Summer. As usual, uh, go for the assignment, um, open up the assignment tasks for U2L6. You can find other assignments or on the Canvas homepage on the calendar. You'll have links to all the things we're doing today. Summer, how you doing? I'm good. Good to hear. Um, all right, as usual, we'll start off with a little um, question. I actually changed it from what's in the tasks to complete to be a little more Halloween centric since some of us are dressed up. Uh, so throwing in the chat right now, here's the question. What, uh, who or what do you plan to dress up as this Halloween? And again, if you've got a costume on now, but you might be wearing one later, that's different. You can highlight that or share that or whatever. Or again, if you're wearing one now and it's obvious, then you can say, well, if you, had, if you have no plans, if you do not celebrate Halloween, or again, if you've got something else that you want to talk about, who or what would you dress up as if you could get top quality costume? I'm talking like cosplay or movie set level. Who would you be interested in dressing up as if that was an option? I'll let you think about that for 20 seconds, and then I'll throw you into breakout rooms. All right, we'll come back together in two minutes. Breakout rooms are open. And uh, yeah, I don't know, for me, um, I have no idea what, I guess something like, I feel like the Mandalorian or Iron Man would be fun if you could get like a top quality costume, like cosplay level thing, that'd be a cool thing to just walk around in, but. Um, all right, uh, next task is just homework review. You had three things um, to complete or make sure that you handed in. We started some of them in class. Uh, here's just a drawing. Uh, whose is this? Uh, this is Augie's. Um, pretty good. This is kind of what your drawing should have come out looking like. Um, and you've got your different calculations. And yeah, if you can uh, label and name things too. It's always fun. Augie, you look like you have your own little language going here or something. That's pretty, that's pretty creepy. Yeah, it was mostly <laughs> just because I couldn't think of a name. Nice. That's pretty good. Um, the quiz, uh, you had to use the uh, little FET, sim or not, it wasn't a FET simulation. It was like that kind of simple orbit simulator. Um, I like this a lot because I think it kind of drives home some of the most important points, which I think are just understanding that you started it with a circular orbit. The minute you increase the mass, mass is proportional to gravity. And so it's not surprising then that the moon sort of gets pulled in closer to the um, source of gravity when you increase the lunar mass. Um, and then we've, we're in an elliptical orbit. And this is again why I like this animation, even though it's very simplistic. It shows you that in elliptical orbits, the speed is inconsistent, right? That when an object passes close to its source of gravity, it moves very fast. It's sort of slingshotting around it. And then it moves much slower when it's further out on the ellipse as it's further away and then comes back again. And then if you make it lighter, it just floats away. Um, sort of, and there's different names for those different types of orbit. And the Ed puzzle is looking good. Looks like most of you played through it. Uh, again, if it's not working, you can just let me know or send me, a, send me your answers to the questions. If you haven't done that, please tackle it. Um, and that was just review of the Hewitt um, chapter. So any questions on that or concerns about the homework? All right, well, to see what you took away from it, let's play just a short Kahoot, it's just four questions. You know what to do. Code is 129097. Please use your name or something close to it so we know who everyone is. Again, the join code is always in the lower uh, part of the screen as well. But it's just four questions. Okay. 
What is tangential velocity? Very good. Most of you got it. It is moving parallel to the Earth's surface, and that's at all times. So you're, it's a circular orbit going around our uh, round planet, uh, and it's just parallel to the ground at all times. We'll be exploring this a little bit more today. All right, Harmony in the lead. True, false. The moon orbits Earth at a consistent velocity, same speed at all times. <laughs> Nice, that was very fast. It is indeed false. Uh, if it did rotate that way, the moon would rise and fall at the same time every single day. We'd be able to schedule things around it. Uh, and you might know this or not, but the moon doesn't do that, right? It, it, it rises and falls at very different times depending on where it is in its cycle because it's actually a little bit slower. Okay, rider pulling ahead, here we go. Increasing the mass of a planet would cause satellites orbiting it to do what? And by satellites, I mean the moon, something like that. Very good. It is to orbit a little bit closer. That's exactly what we saw in the simulation you did for homework. All right, Nathan in the lead now. Last question. What is eccentricity? Very good, it is the roundness or how circular an ellipse is, which is what you were doing for homework as well. All right, way to go Nathan, Augie, and Abby. Well played. Great. Okay, uh, the next task then is to work on an Ed puzzle. We are now on the tasks list. We are on step four, gravity visualized Ed puzzle. And this is sort of previewing the activity you're gonna be doing today. Uh, it's four minutes and 48 minutes long, 40 seconds long, and uh, about four questions. If you can't get Ed puzzle to work or if it often freezes on you, the third bullet point there, I have a link to the video on YouTube. You just need to watch up until that timestamp. And then I put the same questions from the Ed puzzle into a Google form so you can still answer those and uh, keep up with what your classmates are doing. Um, so I'll time for 10 minutes to work through this. I'm hoping it won't take 10 minutes. Um, so but once I see everyone's got a response, we'll come back together. So 10 minutes to work on the gravity visualized Ed puzzle. Let me know if you need help. Any other questions or comments on that video? Our activity today is gonna to be another Flipgrid. Um, I'm sorry if you're getting sick of these, but I'd like to get you guys away from your computers if I can. Um, and you're gonna be mimicking what was done in this um, video, but with household items. So on the tasks to complete list, uh, which you should see right now, uh, this is step number five, gravity visualized Flipgrid. When you click on that little assignment there, it should take you to this, uh, where I've got what you need and the instructions to follow. Essentially, you need to find a frying pan or a big bowl or you know, salad bowl or something that has a large round top to it. You need to get a t-shirt or some cellophane wrap, like you know, the sandwich wrap or a towel, whatever you can find. Tighten that over the lid. Um, and you can use clips to hold it down or a belt or string, whatever you've got at home. And then you can, um, you can get a heavy mass and a lighter mass if you wanna do that. When it's so small, it usually doesn't work well. What I recommend doing actually is uh, on the flip grid, you can see um, there's an image Right here, I have a demonstration video I made, but you can kind of see in this image too how what I'm thinking. Uh, you can just press into the middle with your finger, right? So pretend that your finger is something that has a lot of mass that's in the middle and it's bending space time into that center point. Uh, and, or you can use a pen or a knife or something to just poke downwards. 
and then that's your center of gravity. And then, yeah, find a marble or a grape or something round uh, that you can then use to show that it falls towards the center when you put it on the edge. And then if you push it sideways, show that it will orbit. Um, and um, you have a marble in your science two kit that you can use. So I recommend checking that out. You need to do three things in your video. One, you need to press into the middle, hold your smaller marble or ball on the outside, let it go and show that it falls towards the center, right? So your center of gravity is pulling things towards it. Then pick up that same marble or ball and launch it sideways, give it a tangential velocity and see if you can get at least one full rotational orbit. Have it go around at least once, that's your orbit. Uh, and then just kind of explain what you're doing as you go. I've got instructions on the assignment and on the Flipgrid. There's also a demonstration video you can check out. Any questions on that? I'm gonna time for 20 minutes to try to get this done. Um, and let me know if you're not sure what equipment to use or you can't find something, I can try to help you out. So I'll be here listening. Go for it, 20 minutes to work on the Flipgrid.